Good morning everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rub Country Living Channel and I've been toting these things around and uh, very happy because all my stackers came in and uh, they're ready to go onto the towers here the only thing I have to do is drill a two inch hole in the center these are about an inch and a half uh, in order to fit over my poles so uh, we got a lot of drilling to do and then we have these uh, towers all set up also today we're gonna blow out the uh, three inch pipe in the, with air uh, in the Dutch bucket system and we're gonna start focusing on setting up the water uh, system for this and also the Dutch bucket system. So we have a busy day. All right, I'm in the greenhouse, got my tool. And just a reminder, the pipes I was talking about are these uh, three inch pipes here. I uh, just drilled them, I gotta blow them out and get the stuff out of them. And then we gotta start uh, thinking about how to get the water system working. And this is our tank. Now the only problem I got before I move on here is my three inch pipe is a little lower than I want it to be so I might go get 15 uh, cinder blocks the little ones and raise all this up a little bit more uh, so I can get more tank space but uh, other than that we're ready to go and it looks like we're gonna have a little better day today um, of course it could change it has but we've got beautiful blue skies and uh, my onions in here should be happy about that I'm not sure how happy my uh, blueberries and my raspberries are in here yet uh, right now it looks like I'm trying to grow sticks but in the meantime we've got to drill some holes we have 20 of these uh, stackers to do and uh, get them on the towers here so well, let's get started got all these drilled out and uh, there'll be five per tower and it's time to get them installed The one thing I didn't show you yet is these have grooves at the bottom. So that's what allows them to stack so nicely. So uh, very easy to install. So there you go, guys. All the towers have got their parts now. A uh, little T-fitting up above is where the hose is going to run, to run water into these. We can put plants at the bottom. Uh, this is not a return system. Uh, so the, the water and the nutrients will go into the ground. Uh, so the next thing we have to do is run my watering pipe, put my tank over there, and uh, also start, we're doing a coconut core and perlite mixture. And we have our strawberries already. 
these are all be strawberries so uh yeah pretty happy about that looks looks pretty cool let's come back here to get a different view of it um yeah kind of different uh, i hope those would just be loaded loaded with strawberries how cool is that and yeah, it's kind of funny you watch the german shepherd she likes to chase bugs and butterflies. What is it, Belle? What do you see? Get it. Here comes Belle. Hi, Belle. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah, she gets lots of exercise just chasing bugs. So, uh, yeah, that's how we keep her slim and trim. She says, I don't chase butterflies. I'm just a lover. Huh. All right, guys. After another trip to the store, I think this is going to be my water tank for these uh, towers. And uh, that should should work fine. And then, uh, remember the problem I was having in the uh, greenhouse. So I found a, a lower, um, I'm going to call it a water tank, that uh, should suffice better than what I have in there. Because you remember the three inch pipe was pretty, pretty, pretty low. And uh, I think this will give me a little bit more. Uh, it's 38 gallons. So this should uh, help me out a little bit with not having to raise the shelves for the Dutch buckets. So of course, uh, <coughs> to do all this and get this open, because I also need to get more quarter inch pipe. And of course, <laughs> more soaker hoses, which I still don't have enough. And a few odds, just a few odds and end pieces I need for some other projects and to run the watering system above here. So today we're going to actually attempt to run our, our hose up above and get it set up for this tank. So here we go. All right, so I put my tank in here. That's a little bit better. I still might raise it. A little bit uh, just so I have as much water as I can hold in this tank because that's a lot of buckets to uh, keep water going so anyway we're getting there so let's get going back on the strawberry towers all right so I'm kind of thinking that's where I'm gonna keep my tank to feed these monstrosities so uh, let's uh, start stringing some pipe all right guys got my pipe here just threw the whole thing in there for now and I'm gonna string it through all these little T fittings Hey okay, guys so we got it all strung up into the bucket which I put a little hole in the side and I got a, uh, about a 290 gallon uh, an hour pump put inside there and uh, eventually I gotta get electricity in there and put some drop lines in here to uh, feed these uh, these towers uh, I haven't exactly decided how I'm gonna do that yet but I'm working on it okay so here's what I'm gonna start off with I could change is I'm gonna use these little feeder lines and I want to make sure each corner is getting water because each one drains into each uh, each other and so right now these are cut kind of long for a test I got a new little tool here that's supposed to block off the end of these caps I, hope, I don't know if they work or not, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to get some electricity to the pump, fill up the tank. I'm going to run this one first and see how it works. And I'm hoping I get enough pressure because I only got a 290 gallon an hour pump for this particular system. So let's get that hooked up. Well, I found probably the most unsafe extension cord possible to uh, use this. Now I just got to fill my bucket up with water. Let's run a let's run a test. Well, I got to thinking I'm going to go ahead and plug this in with this filling up, so uh, I don't run out of water. I can keep it on for a while. So let's plug it in. 
while I hear the motor running uh, now we just got to see if it's going to make it all the way to here so look, let's pull one of these out and see if we get get water so far nothing well what do you know we got water Uh oh, not all of them are working now. So it looks like I'm about For some reason I'm having trouble with one of them. There we... Oh, there it goes. It's working. Guess I just had to get the air out of the system. So there she goes. See all the water coming through? How cool is that? Now the big question is, can that pump handle four more connections like that? So, uh, very interesting. And, uh, let's add some more uh, feeders and see what happens. All right, so probably the worst part of this whole project is making these little jumpers and putting these little tabs on here which are really hard on the hands and uh, I wear gloves once in a while but then it's kind of hard to handle the small pieces but uh yeah you're gonna have raw fingers putting all these together because I'm doing 16 more of these and then when you're done it looks like that and those go into uh, with this little tool here you poke a hole you can see the little poker in there pokes a hole in the side of that tubing and you just press these in and you're set to go. All right, guys, got the water turned back on to keep the bucket full, and it's time to plug this stuff in again. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got water here. We got water here. Starting to get water here. And uh, let's see if it's going all the way to the other end. Might take a little bit of time, but let's see what happens. Pretty quiet at this end. I'm not sure if that pump's going to handle this. We'll wait a second and see what happens. Okay, so it's been about another minute. I am getting a little bit of water to the fifth one, but not compared to the ones over there. But once I put a little bit of resistance on those other ones, that might change it. But I may have to go up to a bigger pump. Um, these last two are really hurting for water. So that's interesting. Well guys, we're, I have to say there's a fail as far as a big enough pump. I went too light. And so I'm going to get on Amazon and order what I want. I want to be at least four to five hundred gallons per hour. Uh, just not enough power to get enough uh, water to these last uh, two uh, towers. So, hey, live and learn, eh? Guys, to finish up my day, uh, I did order my pumps. I'm going with a six, uh, 800 gallon an hour pump. Uh, I ordered two of them. So I'm gonna need it for this system too. But today, I got my compressor and uh, we're gonna blow these uh, lines out, and clean them out from uh, after I drill them. So it'll probably be noisy, so I won't be able to talk. So let's see how well this works.
Well, that definitely did the trick. You can see all the stuff that came out of the pipe right here. So, uh, yeah, that was a good way to clean it out. So, uh, today I'm going to evaluate how much I'm going to lift these shelves up a little bit just to get a little bit more water into the tank. That should be pretty easy. Uh, I may just use little chunks of one by six, two by sixes underneath there just to lift it about two more inches. And uh, I'll be pretty happy with that. So that's all I'm going to do on that today. So uh, getting kind of windy again, still a pretty day. And uh, had a little bit of a failure with the pump, but everything else looked really good. I'm pretty happy. So uh, it is what it is. So guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank all the new subscribers. Uh, we're getting new ones every day. We really appreciate it. And uh, be safe out there. And please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And send our videos all over the world. They really help us out. That's the best thing you can do to help us out. Or buy a Ranger Rob Keep on Rednecking hat. Or Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. That would help too. So guys, uh, all that stuff's in the description. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.